Hello everyone, today we are going to be reviewing Espio and Egg Robo from the Sonic the Hedgehog Jack specific line and we're going to start off with Espio here and also my plan today is to hopefully do a double upload so if you guys are excited for that let me know in the comments below. Also, uh, my newest video, the Godzilla and Kong Battle Roar figures video did really well so thank you for watching that video. Anyway, let's jump straight into the review here. First up, we have Espio, and these guys are from one of the newer waves. Uh, yeah, so here's Espio, and the painting and sculpting on this figure is really nice. He's got that nice bubblegum purple, I mean, pink, I, I don't know, man. You, you try writing these videos. There is no writing. Anyway, before we get onto the figure itself, I guess we'll just take a look at his accessories. A little checkpoint, spring-loaded, so you can, you can flick some uh yeah you can do that so that's a cool feature there's a little hole at the bottom so you can plug it into any of your play sets that you might have oh boy all right well and here's SBO right here looks pretty nice and copyright is at the bottom there and you get that nice little chameleon swirly tail in his horn although he's smiling which is pretty uncharacteristic so that was kind of weird uh, his arms move nicely. He's got, his arms are actually kind of weird. Um, they're not done normally. The hand is the part that swivels, not the whole gauntlet here. The gauntlet is actually attached to his arm. You got that nice uh, belly heart shape and the yellow eyes, very nicely painted. You got the big banana purple shoes with the band-aids all over them. And that is pretty much it for SPO. I guess if you want to go crazy with it, you could have him hold the checkpoint and beat people over the head with it. You know, as you would. I think he can use two hands. So, hey, that's an option. You can have him beat up other minifigures. <laughs> or not. This guy's resilient. Jeez. All right, Soundwave is not messing around. So SBL will just take a back seat for the rest of this video. He'll sit in the corner back there being all depressed. What a stupid little purple guy. Anyway, here is my favorite out of the two, Egg Robo. I really, really like this figure. They did a great job with him. And he's very articulated. I noticed that a lot of the robots, robot characters that uh, Jax makes uh, for their Sonic line are very articulated. But the head is super loose. So you really don't get much posability out of it. It's just spinning. Also, the eyes were assembled weirdly, so you can kind of move them up and down, which is weird. Uh, he's got a very nice jetpack here that's on a swivel for some reason, so that's nice. Lots of good colors here. They painted him nicely, although I do think the, the eyes could have used some more colors in them or like some pupils, but besides that, it looks pretty good. I think this would definitely benefit from some shiny paint, but for 10 bucks, this is pretty good. And the bottom of the feet are actually um, nice and detailed. These are just stickers, but I do appreciate them going through this effort. And you get, you get all the details here. Uh, I'm pretty sure the copyright info is like on the jetpack or something. It's, it's somewhere here. It's in a very uh, unnoticeable spot. Yeah, right there. That's where the copyright info is. And once again, the chest is painted very nicely. You get nice seams, panel lines, everything. And now onto the articulation, which I guess I forgot to really go over for SPL, so we'll do that real quick. Swivel at the head, arm moves out. Swivel at the arm, you get that aforementioned uh, ball joint at the hand. Uh, tail doesn't move at all. Oh, it does. Tail's on a swivel. I, I'm just now noticing that. Yeah, tail's on a ball joint here, so you can, you can do all that. So that's, that's pretty sweet. I don't know how I just noticed that. Get a kick about that far. Uh, beautiful spread. Knee joint, knee joint swivels. So does the entire leg. And you get ball joint at the foot. But because of how tight it is, it really is just a swivel. So that's SBO's. Uh, the tail's a nice piece of articulation that I just noticed. Anyway, this guy loaded with articulation. I love it. So, uh, there's that spinning head. Really doesn't count as a swivel because of how loose it is. 
uh, come to the back, you get that rotating jetpack. And as for the arms, they can move all the way around, move out. Uh, the short, I mean, the um, elbow swivels all the way around. You get a uh, bend there, and it goes past 90 degrees, which is nice. You get a swivel at the wrist. Uh, no waist articulation, but he really doesn't need it. The legs are pretty articulated. You get a kick about that far. Once again, a beautiful spread if this one will want to arch out all the way. Beautiful spread. Hooray. And there's swivels there, obviously. And you get a nice knee bend and a ball joint at the foot. Oh wait, it's not a ball joint, it's a hinge joint and a swivel. So you get some down motion there. And his accessory, which he cannot go without, in my opinion at least, you get his giant gun, giant plasma cannon ray gun thing. And that goes into his hand really securely, although it does weigh his arm down a bit. It is a really, really great accessory. And uh, he does have balancing issues when you Pose the gun a certain way, and it it's not like a big solid piece of plastic. It's pretty hollow, but the robot is too. So yeah, that's about it for Egg Robo. And I gotta say, I really do like these two. Um, they're great figures. If you can get your hands on them, I definitely recommend them. Some of the strongest figures that have come out so far. And before we wrap this video up, let's do a quick size comparison with some previous reviews, such as. Battle Roar Godzilla from the previous review, and he is a bit taller. I had a good thumbnail for this video. And uh, we also got from the previous, previous review another dynamic duo Transformers Sandstorm and Transformers Pterosaur. Both of them there, and that's about it. And here is another, another previous review, Transformers, Velocitron, Nemesis Prime, and or Scourge, whatever you want to call them. So overall, these figures are great. Pick them up if you can. I'd give it a solid, solid uh, 7 out of 10 for this guy, 8 out of 10 for this guy. So that was really weak. Let me try it again. Ah, there we go. He's not, he's not going over. All right. Got to bring the big gun out for this one. Just give me a quick sec. What? Fall! Fall! Why won't you... Oh, maybe I'll have better luck with Espio. Come on. There we go. You too. I gotta aim for the legs, maybe. What? He's doing the Michael Jackson. He's too strong. Ah, uh, there we go. I think I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Gotta reload. Oh. I get her. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Sorry for the random ending there. Bye bye!